Now today we're doing something that many of you have waited for, how to turn off that pesky VSA light, the Vehicle Stability Assist light. As you know, many Hondas and Acuras, this is an 06 TL, have these VSA systems and they may go off if the vehicle goes into a spin, if the front wheels move but not the rear wheels. In this case, this vehicle struck a curb very, very hard, cracked the front cross member or the subframe. So we replaced that. Now we're just catching up and turning off the light now. Very quickly, you may try to turn off the, the light with the switch, the VSA switch. And we already did a video showing on how to test that switch. So in this case, we know that the switch is perfectly fine but now we just need to reset the system. Now to perform this task, you need a rather sophisticated scan tool. This happens to be the Foxwell NT630. It is $140, so it's not inexpensive, but just to give you a different vantage point, when I first received this vehicle, did the repair work, it needed tires. There was no way it would pass an inspection. So I went to the local tire shop that happened to be an auto repair facility and I asked the rep what would it cost to diagnose the system and remove this light and he assured me for hundred and eighty dollars he can have this light removed. So the point here is you can certainly receive your money back, your return on your investment by using this tool just once. And if you plan on doing your own auto repair, it's an absolute must have. You will save hundreds if not thousands of dollars. So it's, an, it's not inexpensive, but it's well worth it. Now that being said, if you're not familiar with these scan tools, they all have the same hookup. Every vehicle from 1996 and newer, it's a federal guideline, they all have the type, same uh, inputs. So you just plug it into the vehicle, and as you can see, the car is not running, but I have the ignition key to the on position. That's the Roman numeral number two on the ignition system you see right here. So just have the system on, and now we're going to scan the system. Now, this does not use an external battery source. This is essentially now running off the vehicle's battery. So you just plug it in and it turns on. So you can check engine codes, steering angle sensors, SAS. In our case, we need the ABS and the airbag. Now, if you do purchase this scanner, you do want to verify you have the latest updates. Ultimately, you visit their web website, Foxwell. You create a user ID and a password, and you can download the latest software. So that being said, you want ABS and airbag, okay? So this is an Asian vehicle. We have an Acura. Do the smart VIN. Now when you perform this test, make sure the vehicle is level and the wheels are straight because it's going to reset the entire system. Then you'll find yourself with four different options. Now I do want to scan the system because I want to delete the code. So let's do a scan. So this is not only checking the brakes, but also the stability control and the airbag system. Okay, so as you can see that we have a fault in the VSA, so I want to erase that. We want to erase it, okay, clearing. Now every scan tool is a little bit different. You sort of have to go through these different menus just to sort of figure everything out here. But now what I want to do is go to control modules and specifically, as you can see, we have the VSA. Okay. So we want special functions, all sensors. After replacing the VSA control unit or sensor cluster, this is the key thing. Do the neutral position memorization. So any scan tool that you're using, it has to be able to do this neutral position memorization procedure. Okay. Test conditions. No DTC except for 84-1, which is the one I had. Engine is off. Vehicle is level, foot off the brake pedal, steering is straight, brake pedal is not pressed. Okay, let's go. Press enter, executing. 
Okay, start the engine. Turn the steering wheel lock to lock. Check for smooth operation of the steering after this process. Press enter. All right. There we go. And already, take a look at that. The light is off. Fantastic. This way. We'll test it in a moment. It might have went off when I cleared it. Most likely it did, but nonetheless, you do want to perform this procedure. Keep the steering wheel straight. Drive the vehicle in a straight line for more than three meters. Stop the vehicle on a level surface. Okay, I'm back in the garage, hit enter. The operation has been successful. Now let's see if this actually, let's turn this off. Let's see if we can actually control this now. There you go, it's off, fantastic. Now let's just quickly test it. Awesome, so now it's completely controlled. And that's how you can go ahead and delete the VSA activation light. So as you can see, we were completely successful. Now, as far as I could tell, this is the cheapest scan tool you can purchase that will perform this task. I did try different scan tools. For example, I think it was an Altel. I'll double check and list it in the description box. You may have seen, this one is sort of interesting. It's a Bluetooth device that you plug into the OBD port, download the app on your phone, and then instead of working with all makes and models like this one does, this system, you download the software specific for your vehicle. So when you first purchase it, the first vehicle is free. And then if you want to add to it, you I think it's five, seven bucks you can add to different vehicles that you work on. But apparently, it would have all of the software that you need to repair your vehicle. I tried it, went back and forth with the manufacturer because it just wasn't working. Ultimately, it just did not work. It did everything but this reset essentially for I think 70 bucks. So this is the cheapest one I'm, I'm aware of that will perform essentially anything that you need it to do, uh, especially for the TL here, Hondas and that sort of thing. But if you know of something else that costs less, please leave those comments. We're all here to help each other. And I'll also have a link in the description box directly to Amazon. Sometimes you'll find coupons for these, so maybe 128, 130 bucks, you can save a little bit of money. But that being said, we will continue with repair videos on the TL. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.